What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And I've come under a little bit of fire from my unboxing of the Xbox One Elite Controller, seeing how I could not open it with this pair of scissors. Now, granted, it was not the best unboxing opening I have ever seen. But I really, really, really wanted to open the box. And I just picked up the first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! So I picked up the very first thing that I actually get my hands on. And yes, that just so happens to be this blunt pair of scissors. My bad. I could have used a machete. But that would not be ideal as I would completely destroy it. Yes, I have a machete. No, I don't know why. I'm not getting rid of it. Because it's badass. Now, moving on from that, let me tell you what's going on in gaming news right now. And a lot of interesting things have been coming down the pipeline as of late. So, Shuei Yoshida has come out and answered no to backwards compatibility on a PlayStation 4. And he also uh, answered a few other questions on Francis' Twitter account when he did like an Ask Me Anything type situation. So, so, just a few honorable mentions of the questions he was actually asked. One of them was, hey, are you guys going to have... Uh, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility with some really cool games. And basically the answer was a straight no. No, you can't have it. We already knew they said they didn't want to do it. They were too cool for school. Not that anybody wanted to play any of those old games anyway because they already beat them. But whatever. We still wanted the option, Sony. We still wanted the option. Uh, another thing that he was actually asked is about PlayStation name changes. So... Shuei Yoshida said uh, he would like to know when that feature will be available himself. Okay, I know this is like news, but you're kind of the boss. And if you don't know when they can do it, I don't know who the hell else does. You have to understand that Xbox 360, you could do this back when, change your name. It costs you a little bit of points or bunny or whatever the fuck it costs, but you actually could do it. So I don't know why a PlayStation 4... 10 years later, can't seem to figure this out. It's like, it, it's not that hard. Obviously, if the competition can do it, maybe you can just ask them. Say, Phil, 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 can you please tell me how the hell you did something that's so fucking easy a caveman can do it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to watch my language now. And the final question that I thought was a good honorable mention was, when is PlayStation 5 going to be released? So he did mention that PlayStation 5 doesn't exist. And no one knows if that means if it's not in development or whatever they're doing. We all know they're making a PlayStation 5, but for them to blatantly say uh, it doesn't exist. No, duh. We just want to know what your plans are in terms of like when you plan on releasing a new console. Kind of need to know information. Uh, and the other news that came down the pipeline real quick, and this one is about PlayStation VR. Uh, they did announce that it is going to be a plug-and-play system. So one of the heads of uh, Sony Worldwide Studios, Michael Denny, did come out there in an interview and say that we have a large install base of keen gamers who, uh, who want to know and try these brand new experiences, and we have a plug-and-play system. So basically, they want to compete with how uh, Oculus is and how confusing it may be and just have a straight plug-and-play system. Well, kudos to you. I do like plug-and-play. I do plan on getting it, even if it may make me nauseous and make me barf all over myself. But I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to buy it, unless it's like $2,000 in which I would probably still buy it i'll probably still buy it yeah and my final bit of news right now and this is actually quite exciting so new news came down from quantum dream and they announced the playstation 4 exclusive detroit detroit yeah that's where i'm from so the creators behind heavy rain and beyond two souls has said that they're going to reveal their first a PlayStation 4 game and Paris Game Week today. They did announce that it's called Detroit Become Human and uh, it is actually based on that original game that they actually showed everybody a demo on PlayStation 3 called Kara. But this game does look way more refined. It looks really good. Uh, it basically imagines a near future where like realistic androids do exist. But then you have one named Kara who was basically about to be sold. But then she decided that she has feelings. And they're like, oh no, she has feelings. Let her go. We don't know what's going on. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be a halfway decent game. But if it's going to be from Quantum Dream, then you pretty much know that there's not going to be much gameplay involved. It's going to be like playing a book. Playing a book about Detroit. Well, I could tell you a few things about Detroit, seeing how I lived there for like 20 years. 
Okay, like 19. I couldn't get out fast enough. I had to go join the army and stuff and go like risk my life. But whatever. So when he looks at the Detroit, you see how buttery it looks. The screen footage of it that shows it look all high technical and clean. Like someone took detergent and bleach with alternative and just spritzed it all over the freaking city. That city's way too clean to be Detroit. First of all, that's unbelievable. Because I'm from Detroit and Detroit looks a little bit something like this. That's what Detroit looks like. Just like that. Any day, you can just walk down the street and you see people doing that. Just dancing. Dancing like Drake. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. I know when the highlight blinks. You only need one day. I know when the highlight blinks. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Sorry. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Uh, I will be uh, planning to do my live gameplay or live stream let's play of Halo 5 Guardians. Uh, thank you, everybody, who actually came out and supported me and, like, watched my live stream while I was experimenting to see how it worked. Did find a lot of bugs and glitches, and I had to adjust frame rate and OBS and all these other crazy things. So I'm going to be doing another test, and I should be live streaming that tonight. So be ready for that. Uh, probably going to do that one on Twitch this time since I did it on uh, YouTube last time. So I'm going to try it out on Twitch and see what happens. Yes, what's going to happen? I'm going to play the campaign. And I still got Left Shark Clark. Left Shark? Left Shark Lisa. Le yeah. Left Shark Lisa on the team. AI. She does whatever the fuck she wants. She just shoots at walls. Whatever. Left Shark Lisa sucks ass. But anyway, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, even got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.